guys, I'm back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a phenomenal day today. And today I'm excited because I'm doing another Is It? Is It Really? Which is no joke, my favorite series that I do on this channel. Great, I think I do like two series, which is Is It, is it Really? and Shop My Stash. We're not there yet. We're still a little small fox family. I only do a couple. Sue me in the comments. Trolls. I love them. Um, but yes, today I'm excited because literally I was really crying because I didn't think I was going to be able to get this set. It is the Sephora Favorites. This is Power of the Petal. So literally this sold out online literally not long after I researched him and I was so angry because I was like, he's so pretty and I want him and he's sold out and I'm really upset about it. Uh, but then I went into my regular Sephora and they had it, not one but two, and I bought both of them. Literally I have the other one off camera. Hashtag no shame that I bought two for myself, but it's a really good set and I'll show you why in just a second because we're going to go through each and every one of the products. If you're not familiar with what is it is it really is, is any of the value sets that companies either put out or Sephora or Ulta, Ulta's now getting really into those. They give this awesome little, like this is the price tag, like this one for example is $38 and they gave it a retail value of $114, but is it... Is it really? I'm out of focus. It's okay. Um, but basically I go through each and every product and I price it to the actual price it's worth and not the price that they necessarily say that it's worth because you know companies like to sell those deluxe size products and they're not worth that much because the bigger sizes shows you the value. Let's get into this. I know, I promise guys, I do have a video coming out to show you guys how I do the math on these things. I think it's going to come out on Friday. It's going to be a tart set. It's going to be fun. Um, but let's get straight into this one. So yes, it is a $38 set. It was a $114. Um, granted, I got him 15% off because I got him during the sale, but we're not including that because that doesn't count on these. They don't. Um, so let's get straight into it. So one, open the box. So this one is a little different because some of them you pop off the box or they're in a bag. This one is one of the ones that pops open. Boop. And this is what the inside looks like. So this is an eight piece set. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces in here. And I'm literally living for this. I can't wait to talk about it. Um, so the first product I'm going to talk about is from Cody. I'm like, where is he? Oh my gosh, he's huge. Oh my gosh, this is so huge. I'm dying. Okay, so this is from Codely. Um, This is their Reversatile Lift Face Lifting Soft Cream. Weird. What comp- like, where is this made? Does this say? Paris. Okay, that explains a lot of the dialect crossing of what on earth on earth? Earth is reversatile lift face lifting soft cream. That sounds that just sounds weird. This sounds like grammatically incorrect, right? Am I the only one? I'm weird. Um, but basically, it's like a lifting face cream. Very excited to try it. Not that I really need like. Okay, my face does not need crazy amounts of lifting. I'm not covered in wrinkles. I don't look 85 in my 20s. Uh, but it is a 0.5 ounce. He's worth 22 dollars and 35 cents. What? Look at this! It's huge! Like, no joke, if any of you have seen any of these videos before, the sample sizes we get in these are never quite this large. Look at that! Look at it! It fits in the palm of my hand. He is huge. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very excited. Granted, most of this is probably packaging. Um, gonna carefully take off the little, it's got a little, like, latch. Ooh, goodness. Is he really liquidy? Okay, he's not. So you guys can see. doop ba doop there he is. He just looks like a cream. I don't know why I'm showing you guys those. I could just be like, he looks like a regular cream. I'm excited to see how he feels though. Because while I don't really need it on my face, I could totally... I've lost some lift on my like, neck. Um, but yes, very, very excited about this. We're $22.35. I'm like, literally when I was first researching this set, I was like, oh my gosh. Also, side note, when I was researching this set after I got the full value, I was really angry at him because I wrote instead of 114, I wrote 144. And I was like, oh, it's so off. This is terrible. Oh my goodness. I want to write a review. Don't. Um, the next scene here is from the Estee Edit. And I think I've had a small sample of this before. I just tried to throw it at myself. Um, but this is from the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder. This is their Pink Peony Overnight Water Pack. I have no idea what that means. I need to research that. Um, I love how I've already been on all these products, but I don't actually like research necessarily what they do. I just kind of, I don't know. I have an addiction, guys. No joke. That's one of the reasons I love value sets because I like trying new things. I just, I don't want to find that one perfect love product. I want to try all the items. I'm trying to make sure you guys can actually like see the words. One, if you'll focus. 
Also, too, I want to say it's, oh my gosh, don't hurt me, guys, if I, like, mispronounce it. Stacia? Is it Stacia? I'm bad with names. But someone gave me a name for um, my camera, and they called it PETA, and I was like, that is a great name if I actually used the last word in PETA, because um, it's pain in the booty. Um, and I just, I don't, it sounds weird for me to go, it's a pain in the not so nice word that just doesn't sound as good. So, I don't know, I kind of want, like, I don't know, a different name. I don't know. Weird. Moving along, I am getting off. Um, so yeah, this is a .24 ounce. He is worth $7.06. I'm really rambling on this video. I am sorry, guys. I will get back on track. I'll probably get off again. It's what I do. Um, next thing in here is from Pharmacy. Very, very excited. He's actually in my Shop My Stash for this week, so stay tuned for a review on that. Um, also, stay tuned for my Instagram. I'm gonna try to Instagram him. No joke, my phone has, like, so many face mask photos that I've yet to Instagram. I'm horrible, um, but this is the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Mass with Echinacea Green Envy. It's supposed to be for deep moisture, activated by C, vitamin C rich cucumber extracts. It's the cucumber one. And so these ones, I know you can buy individually, so he's worth $8.00. Um, but they do sell the one count for $9. I went off of the pack because, yes, we always look for that deal because they sell three pack for $24. Um, but yes, he's a one count worth $8. Very excited about using him, um, this week because I obviously haven't used him yet because that's what I'm saying. Um, next thing in here is from Fresh. He doesn't want to come out of the box. He literally doesn't want to come out of the box. Like, the struggle is real, guys. He's like, no, don't pull me out. Also, did I need any more masks? Did I get more? Mm -hmm. This is why I literally, like, no joke, that giant face mask bag. In fact, I have him with me. Let me show you guys. Because um, I did do a face mask haul collection hoarding video. This is my face mask bag. It's from Bath and Body Works. But no joke, it is this full. This is stuff. Full of face masks. And I don't go out and just buy a bunch of individual face masks. No, I do value sets and other things to get cheaper face masks. So, with that in mind, this is the Fresh Rose face mask, which is actually a pretty expensive mask. Um, but this is a .5 ounce. He is worth $9.12. And no joke, he looks really weird. Let me see if he is, he has one of those little, like, protective seals on him. So let me show you guys. He looks disgusting. <laughs> Because I've seen him a million two times. I think I've actually used this mask before. Let me carefully pop him open for you guys. Oh, he looks slimy. There he is. Oh, I really hope he's not going to drip out on me. Look at that. He smells good. I mean, he just smells like roses. It's just, it looks like if someone ate roses and then diarrhea low roses, that's what it would look like. It looks like rose diarrhea. Um, it's just, it's not a pleasant, it's not a pleasant look. Um, but... I had something in my hair. It's probably from when I was on the floor with my cat earlier. Um, but yes, worth $9.12. I'm literally going to pop them back into the box. Um, the next thing, as I'm turning the page, because I'm looking at my notes. If you guys notice, I'm looking down a lot. If you're unfamiliar with me and my channel, um, I do notes, because I do not have this garbage memorized. So I literally have, like, my lovely little notebook of cheap notes. Um, yes, yeah, so the next thing in here is from, I'm going to screw up this brand. I know I'm going to screw up this brand. I don't care. Um, so this is from Karuna. Car Karuna. I'm going to go with Karuna. You guys tell me. Do you guys think I'm pronouncing it right? Is it Karuna? I'm going to go with Karuna. My sister isn't here to go. That's wrong. So we're going to go with it. Do you, do you? My sister is literally my, like, diction words. She tells me all the pronunciation of words. Uh, but this is their age defying. They really have a lot of age defying in the set. I think these were really designed to be more like Mother's Day presents. They're Foxy Day presents. I wanted stuff for myself. Um, but this is an age-defying hand mask. I don't know what the next words are. Where is this from? This is from Korea. Made in Korea. Why is it postmarked for Los Angeles, though? Maybe that's where their headquarters are? That's really strange that it's made in Korea, but, like, the company's based out of California. That's weird. Whatever. Don't care. Um... I love that it says that it has a skin type for aging and age spots. Don't care. It's going on my hands. I'm very excited. Um, but yes, this is a hand mask, which they actually only sell this particular hand mask. I'll let you guys actually see the whole thing. Um, they only sell this online. Just in case you're like, ooh, that sounds like something I'd want. Um, so this is a one count, and it is worth $9.50. That is insane. I would never go out and spend $9.50 on a hand mask. 
though I'm totally thinking about maybe spending maybe $25 and getting the baby foot foot peeling mask, but I don't know, I kind of like my Tony Moly. Um, but someone Instagrammed me a question about the Tony Moly foot peel. I gotta remember to answer that. I'm really bad about responding. Not really. Um, next thing in here is from L'Occitane. L'Occitane? I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's French. I'm really bad with pronunciation. No joke though, it still made me laugh that I put this lotion on when I was in Sephora when I literally bought this set. And one of the guys that only works perfume was like, have you been over by the L'Occitane section? And I was like, how do you know? He's like, oh, I can smell it on you. And I was like... That is insane because it's a very light scent. Um, but this is the L'Occitane Milk. Where is the actual name? Almond Milk Concentrate because it's like, what is its name? It's weird. Does it say on the back of the box too? Is that what it calls it? The Almond Milk Concentrate? Yeah, Almond Milk Concentrate. So this is a 0.7 ounce. He is worth $5. Guys, this is one. I had a little sample of this and I just put on my legs um, during a shot of my stash. But it was so... So good. It's literally like one of my favorite lotions I have ever, 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 ever tried. And no joke, even though it's only a $5 little bottle of it um, for his value, that's one of the reasons. He was the selling point on why I decided to buy two sets. Because, I mean, I liked a lot of stuff in it, but he definitely, like, I am not about to blow the crazy amount of money that the lotion costs, but I'll do it on these sets. Um, but yes, he's only worth $5, but he's so good. I want to put some on, but I really want to save it for, like, just putting it on my legs and not putting it on my hands, because my hands don't, they don't need to feel as good as my legs. I want them to feel better. Next thing in here is from Shiseido. Um, and this is their Benefits Resist, uh, Wrinkle Resist Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. Can't they, like, just say, like, it's a tightening eye mask or something? Or wrinkle resisting eye mask? Like, why do they gotta add all these extra words? We don't care. Just stop it to eye mask and it works well. Um, but yes, this is a one count and he is worth $5.42. I can't remember if this came in, like, giant multi-packs like this. Or if they were in like the Peter Thomas Roth ones where they're in the tub. I cannot remember. It's been a few, it's been like a week and a half since I researched these. Almost two weeks, I think. Um, but this is what he looks like. He'll probably go into a shop my stash. No joke, all these are going to go into my face mask bag soon. Yep, there he is. Um, but yeah, it's just like, I can feel it. It's just on like a little tray. Um, basically, you just peel them off and let them sit under, focus on my face camera. Um, you just let them sit underneath your eyes for, so it's 15 minutes. It says use this two to three times a week. No! The fudge? I'm not going to use an eye mask two to three times a week. <laughs> no. Um, next thing in here is from... Okay, I think that's supposed to be eyes. I think this is the sky... I, I don't know. This brand. Um, it's a facial treatment essence, which I have to figure out what um i know this one gave me a little bit of a struggle when i was trying to price him because they had like some special edition bottles but they're like different packaging it was it was really hard to try to figure out how to break down his price but anyways i did and it's this product is a one ounce he's worth 26 dollars and 36 cents what the fudge is this i think it's supposed to just be like a cleansing like almost like a micellar water i think that's what he's supposed to act as is a micellar water but this is what he looks like focus for me camera i know he's got a little glare but can you focus stop focusing on the candle focus <laughs> thank you there he is um yeah, I'm very, very excited to figure out what this is and how it works, because $26? What the fudge? And I did that off of the largest size that they typically sell. I think I x like, an extra special value size, because it was, like, a limited edition Christmas one, and there were only, like, a few left when I looked on their website. I don't remember. It's been a while. But, yes, $26.30. $26 now, I highly doubt any of you guys have been keeping track of the numbers as I've been going along, because... Why would you? I'm just going to tell you that at the very end. Um, 
But yeah, so reminder, the set was $38 and they gave it a $114 value. His actual retail value is $92.81, which is still really, really good because that saves you 59%. That's one of the reasons I decided to just go ahead and get two of them because he's such a good mask. Like, no joke. Like, if you just include, like, the pharmacy, the rose face mask, the, uh, I don't know. It had a lot of good stuff and I'm very excited about this. I think my sister's going to really like the Caudalie face cream with me. So, but yeah, so that is it for this video. I know it was kind of like all over the place and I rambled, but reminder guys, because it is for a little bit longer, I'm still giving away the totally cute palette from Too Faced. Do, do, do. I love, 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 love this limited edition palette. And there's a link in the description below to go for the giveaway. And you can also see the swatches I did of him on my own palette, not your palette, because that'd be weird. But yes, yeah, so make sure you guys enter that giveaway. And guys, our Fox family just keeps growing. It's insane. I still gotta figure out what I wanna do for the 500 subscribers milestone. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. I have one of my lovely little subscribers, Jilly, um, that's gonna be picking it out, but um, I gotta limit her on what she can select, because I'm not opening little squishies, because this is a beauty channel. I don't know, but that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get notifications, make sure you hit the lovely little notification bell down there, because I don't know when these videos go up. And also, if you want to follow me on my social media, the link is in the description below for that. Stay back, guys.